just check out this steaming little beauty here the fluffiest rice and everything all done in the one pot chicken and rice really is one of those amazing dishes so let's do it let's make my one pot gochujang chicken and rice So the key to any good chicken and rice dish is how you layer in the flavor and then also ratios, rice to liquid. So I'll get to that in a minute. In the meantime, I wanna get started on my dried shiitake mushrooms. These guys are so good to have in your pantry. They won't go bad like fresh mushrooms might. So you can just keep them around whenever you need some extra flavor. Now, just place them in a bowl with about half a cup of hot water for 15 minutes. And once they've sat for about 15 minutes, you'll get them nice and squishy and reconstituted just like this. And you wanna take them out, but don't throw away that soaking liquid. You wanna keep that for later. For the mushrooms themselves, just remove those stems because they stay really hard and woody and slice the mushrooms in half. And we will keep all of our mushroom bits and pieces for later. For the chicken, this is the specific cut you want. It is a chicken thigh cutlet and it's got skin on because the skin tastes great when it's all crisped up in the marinade. But these ones typically come with a bone in them. So let me show you how to deal with that. So just cut along the bone and then literally you can just kind of like pull the bone off. It's very easy to do. You could save those bones for like a chicken stock or something like that. Let's do the marinade for the chicken and I'm gonna start off with gochujang. Gochujang is probably one of my most favorite ingredients. I use it a lot. My gochujang, 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 gochujang. <laughs> I'm gonna add some soy sauce to that, some mirin, some finely chopped garlic, some finely grated ginger, and some sweet dark soy sauce for just a little bit of color. Now mix all of that together, and I mean, look at the color of that marinade. Oh, it's already so good. Put your chicken pieces in, and then give all of that a really good mix. This marinade doesn't take long to work its magic, so just put it aside, and I'm gonna get my mom to cook me an omelet. <laughs> Quick, it's a brace. Go. I can see shell in there. Easy. What happens now? Pepper? Is some white pepper? Where the white pepper? Yes, I think so. Well, that's a lot of pepper. <laughs> You don't even know what recipe we're doing, do you? Because you were asleep. <laughs> Come on, I'll make the omelette. You go. <laughs> Bye, 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 Mom. Bye. So much for uh, guest appearances. <laughs> okay, so omelette. You just need three eggs and a little bit of white pepper and just give that a mix. Heat up the oil in a shallow, heavy based pot. Now I'm gonna use this later on for my rice, so make sure it's fit for that purpose too. Pour your egg in and just let it set and let it cook away until it's golden on the bottom and you can just kind of divide it up, which makes it easier to flip over. Flip it once it's golden and then just let it set for another minute or so and then you can take it out, pop it on your chopping board. And this is really cool because I'm gonna make some egg noodles here. Roll up the egg omelet, slice, and you have these pretty egg noodles to decorate your beautiful one pot dish with at the end. The whole thing with any kind of chicken and rice dish is that you must have the right rice and ratio of liquid because otherwise you're either going to get an uncooked rice or you're going to get a really soggy rice. So I've got two cups of jasmine rice and for two cups of jasmine rice I need two and a half cups of liquid. So I have some of my mushroom soaking liquid. I'm gonna start off with that. I'm gonna to top that off with a little bit of kimchi juice because I'm gonna use some kimchi later on. And then to make up the two and a half cups, I'm gonna add in chicken stock. Next, I'm gonna start work on my chicken. To get the chicken and rice pot going, we need to heat up a little bit of vegetable oil, add in your chicken pieces skin side down and just give them about two or three minutes. What I'm looking for here is a really nice, lovely char at the edges, a nice color. Then we can add in the kimchi, just sprinkle that around, add in your mushrooms and pour over your rice. Mix the rice through a little bit here and then you can add in your liquid. 
I like to make sure that all of my rice grains are getting into that liquid. So I just kind of brush off the chicken and get all of the rice soaking in there and then bring it up to a simmer, put the lid on, turn the heat down and then let that cook away for about 30 minutes. Here's the big reveal and I mean, look at the steam, look at the color of the chicken and the rice and everything. Oh, it's just like amazing. I love it so much. Let's have a look at those rice grains because that's the most important thing here. Did we succeed? Now, I think that is lovely, fluffy looking rice. Oh my goodness, so good. All I need to do now is just finish it off with my egg noodles and a little bit of spring onion. And there you go. One pan gochujang chicken and rice. Ah, I am so in love with this. Mm, that is so perfect. The texture of the rice is amazing. It tastes chickeny and spicy. And then you've got like the pops of kimchi. Ah, so good.